I'm Elizabeth Larkin with Balanced Body Pilates. Some of my clients have a rather kyphotic spine. They tend to have a round-shouldered posture with a forward head. And they ask how they can improve their posture. Of course, I would like to help them access thoracic extension. We start in side lying with this arc and the side lying leg press. Inhaling to expand wide to the sides of their ribs. So a supported lateral flexion in order to get some mobility in the thoracic area. Then we change to a supine leg press. First with the heels wide apart on the foot bar and the requisite number of cushions or towels underneath the head. Eventually the hands can cradle, the fingers can be interlaced, and the hands cradle the neck, cradle the head. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to return. Inhale, bringing the spine between the shoulder blades towards the ceiling. Exhale, glide the sternum down. Or exhale, connecting the lowest ribs with the pelvis, and inhale to expand wide to the side. Now, after becoming accustomed to this gentle slope of the arc, we add the, the foot of the arc, like so. Turn the arc around. Install this. And now there's a little niche here for the pelvis. So this side-lying leg press will encourage um, a lower um, thoracic a thoracic flexion from a lower segment of the spine, building up this area with the requisite number of towels or cushions. And now the client will get um, a more of a length between the ribs and the pelvis, so more side bending in the direction of the lower thoracic and the lumbar spine. After doing this on both sides, um, we'll turn to lie on the back, come to supine. This can be the heels on the bar as before, abdu an abduction or adduction, or the soles of the toes and the balls of the feet on the bar. Again, cradle the neck with the hands. Inhale to slide out. Exhale to return, helping to support the back of the neck and the head here. So this is of course, much more demanding than the first variation. Um, the thoracic extension is lower and makes much more demands on the anterior oblique sling system to connect the ribs with the pelvis. I'd like to add also that the sideline leg press can not only be done in hip flexion, in parallel, in external rotation, and in internal rotation, but also with lighter spring, say one red spring rather than two red springs, with a lighter spring, then you can access hip extension, focusing on plantar and dorsiflexion as well. Drive the heel down, lift the heel up, lower the heel, and bend your knee. So you see, in this environment, you can practice this, the supine leg press alignment with which you're accustomed and add to it mobility in the thoracic spine. Thanks for being with us. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.